So now we have a working game mechanic. As we collide, let's get them over. Let's finish up with our UI. Let's add event observer that will listen to game over event. Rename it to game over. And now let's add another UI. Game over UI. And whenever we get a game over event, we'll load a game over UI. In our game over UI, let's add a game over text. And let's edit our font a little bit. Let's just use a yellow font and disable gradient. And let's add a shadow. So now we have a different font. We will display best and current score in our game over screen. Copy it over, move it a little bit to the right, and we'll display score, points, and best here. Let's duplicate that. Current. And current score. And let's add another text that says tap to play. Align them a little bit. We will add a navigation button. And if you click it, we'll restart the game. Okay, let's see how it looks. So start the game, we play it, and get our point, one, two, collide, and get our game over screen. And we have no background on game over screen. We'll add some overlay so that the game over screen will stand out better. To do that, we'll go to the button. And let's use the white rectangular and crank the and set contrast to negative one. Save and set opacity to 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and let's drag the navigation all the way back. Save and let's test it out again. Let's disable our debug mode. Okay. So when we collide, we get our game over screen. We tap to play and we can start again. And we have our best and current scores. Let's add our last UI, which is going to be our start UI. And for that, we'll just duplicate our game over UI. And let's rename it to start. Change game over label to Flappy Penguins. And the label is a little bit too big, so let's split it up into two labels. Increase the size a little bit. And let's remove our current score and just keep the best score. And we can center it a little bit. And change our function for our navigation button to default and call the navigation button to start. Start button. Let's connect our start button to our load to the world. For our navigation button, let's use our green background. And let's scale it down to 1 1. Well, let's do 0.7. Let's go down to 0.7 and opacity to, to 5. One thing that you should always do when working with Buildbox is make sure you save frequently because Buildbox tends to shut down with no warning quite a bit. So let's test our game. This is our start screen, tap to play. And now we have a flappy penguin. And as a bonus, let's actually add another another scene for variation. Name it two. And let's move it around. And let's 
duplicate. Save. And now we have two scenes. And you can continue adding more scenes for variations. And there it is. Our first game, Flappy Penguin. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, write in the comments below. And subscribe to our channel for more videos.